So here you go, you join me again on the Ming Carla, and this is part two after I had to climb the stairs to get back up from the cabin. And here we have the engine. The engine. Each trip is approximately 10 days. During this time, the engine consumes 250 gallons of diesel fuel per day, which equates to about one ton. The engine was manufactured in Lowestoft by AK Diesels Limited and was the last of its type. It is a five-cylinder vertical four-stroke cycle and it is naturally aspirated. Look at that working, huh? That is so cool. Here's all your information about the <laughs> specification. Ah. And all the information there. I've got some pictures as well that I can stick in the Discord as well. So if you want to know more or see more, I've got um, pictures that will be in the Discord as well. And this is in Lowestoft, would you believe? And you can just literally just walk onto it. There are volunteers with information and everything, but you literally can just walk on it. Oh. <laughs> More steps, hang on. <laughs> so this is Skipper's Head, which means bathroom. <laughs> I like all the little terminology, how cool it is, just to have the different bits. So it's very quaint and very small, but does the job. So we are going to go upstairs now. We're going to follow the arrows and head upstairs. So oh, up we go. <sighs> Just imagine going up these as the boat is swaying, dear God. Oh, oh come on. Skipper's cabin to the left. <laughs> oh. oh. That was called Skipper's on tours. God, it's hard getting around a boat, and this is stationary. Whew. Imagine if that was floating you trying to get up there. Oh, no wonder you get seasick. Okay, so, as the guy said, this is the captain's room. Obviously, he doesn't... Um, go with the crew but i am going to assume he eats dinner with the crew at the very least it's not a pirate ship <laughs> oh look at this the lost harbor that's so cool look at this wow see i was going to go around some of the stuff in yarmouth but i couldn't find hardly any of it that was open because it is technically off season so here's his little portholes all your little things. Perfect. How cool. So, oh, I don't know if you can see in there, if I can angle it. So that's the rescue, throwing gun and line. And all these little bits over here. Oh, it's so cool. I'm so glad I came down this end of the town first before I went down the other end. Because shops are all well and good, but this is so much more interesting. little chests all this wood so so much detail even in just a tiny room like this so this is room number seven perfect okay Ooh. this is the that's the international flags there just the, that on there the, all the flags in the round the corner oh. that's the flag locker Ooh. Just the, oh the, here you the go oh so you have to Fly a different flight depending on uh, where you the, are. The road no, would it matter to you? Well, you need just you single. Say if you had a diver down, that's an A flight. Oh, so okay. So then you see taking bunkers or taking fuel on board. So that's just uh, uh, basic, so as to make other ships aware yeah. of like why. Just yeah, that's only very very. G is yeah. I require part. When you come into a new port, you must have a pilot. So that's I require a pilot. H is I have a pilot on board. Uh, Q flag is the yellow one. That's to say my ship is healthy. There's no disease on board. 
And oh, the, yeah, and the scurvy. Blue, and yeah, and the blue peter is just to say the ship is sailing within 24 hours. What's with the guy saying that the ship was never ever turned off? So even at night, you didn't just this stop 20, and. No, this worked 24 hours a day. Oh. You, you trawl for four hours, get the net on deck, get the fish down below, and the net is over the side. So There's I'm, always. Yeah, so it never stops. So for 10 days of solid fishing, you never got. It's a 12 day trip, two days getting to the location back. But for 10 days of solid fishing, you never get more than four hours in the time. Around the clock wow. operation that never stopped. Wow. <laughs> so this is where they used to fish, and most of on the Dogger Bank. So that's this area here, in the centre of the North Sea. Hull, Grimsby, and Fleet were off Iceland, but most of ships mm -hmm. always fished in the centre. Wow. How cool! That thing's a bit steamed up. <laughs> <laughs> I think the whole ship steamed yeah. up. Yeah, <laughs> in my own, in my own glasses, it's steaming, steaming up. Cold. God, it's so cool. That's a plot. And this is the navigation system. This is a Mark 21 Decker navigator. And when you're on the wheel steering, this is your compass. This is on gimbals, so this stays perfectly still while you're steering. Ah, okay. Plus, it's a compass to steer by. Oh, I see. Yeah, because you can't always. Yeah, and that, uh, I've got to get over. Wow. That didn't come up. Where is it? <laughs> that line there is called the love line. That's your ship's head. Wow. That's why it's been around. <laughs> Oh. Must be hard to stay boat because you can never see the end of your ship. <laughs> yeah, well, you had 20 tonne of ice up far and the bow would have been down substantial, so she would have been more on an even keel. Okay. Wow. That uh, we can't see if it's in there, but that uh, building through there with the blue roof, that's the ice factory where they used to load the 20 tonne of ice on. There were big conveyor belts coming into the fish dock. When you're on the so wheel, cool. pushing the wheel to steer. But originally, this was chain steering, so the chains come up and out through them sheaves all the way down to the rudder. Oh. But later on, they put hydraulic. Ah, uh, move with the times. <laughs> do, you want, do, you want to go, do you want me to film that while you're on there? Yeah. Do you want, well, you pull that handle right down. And that's telling the engineer you will go full of steering. Ah. Stop. Pull ahead. And stop. Last thing you ring is finish with engines. There's an engine permanently standing by so the same telegraph down below. He's waiting for your signal. signal. And then you do. But later on that was obsolete. And they put this on. So you control the engine with this. Oh, that's more like a yeah. like a proper like a Yeah, it's like a throttle thing that yeah. yeah. So it oh, made life a lot easier. So was that just moving with the times? Yeah, that or? was when he went to uh, standby, there were twenty eight days. So you went that system, you had to have the engineer, he'd be sitting by that all the time waiting for that. So basically, yeah. they never had ear protectors in those days. So they just sit there. And All right, them. so yeah. more for the. They, this crew. is a radar. They never. Had, this never had a radar originally. This was put on at a later date. So, so they. So basically, if you put it on three, so that's from here to this outer ring yeah. is three miles. And then they've got half. What you had is a radius ring has gone out yeah. half mile radius. So if we had an echo there. That would tell you there's a ship on your port side about one and a half miles. So even with fish and the same as steam, they were just trying to move with the times. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously. You know, retired. changing all of this, changing all of this. Yeah, I retired from the Merchant Navy till I was 50 years of seeing the Merchant Navy. You go on the bridge, we don't have nothing, we just have control levers. Oh. <laughs> no wheels Is it you. better to have this amount of, like, I suppose you well, call you know, it tech yeah, compared to the old you, chains yeah. and all that? Well, yeah, because you haven't got cruise now. I mean, it's hardly any crew, so you... So you just press a button, it fishes, and then you just bring it back in. That's such a shame, because it yeah. took so many jobs. That ship discharge, that used to be a main construction yard over there, where they, that's called, that used to be SLP, where they used to be models. But they got to level that off, and that's going to be a supply base eventually, for the offshore wind turbines. Oh. <laughs> a bit like they've uh, destroyed Yarmouth with all the... Oh, you got the screw of my day, I've been there since December. Because I'm currently staying in Yarmouth, and I've I've been down to the dockside there, and I'm just like, it's just so fancy now. <laughs> oh, yeah, compared to what it used to <laughs> so be. So fancy and sophisticated and all these things, and I, I I don't know, I kind of like it. I know it. you got to move with the times, yeah. but I did like how it used to oh, look. Yeah. And... It's like when you go down to Felix, so you've got them huge containers. Them big huge container cranes, there's nobody in them, they're all done from shoreside, it's all oh, automatic. It took so many jobs, that's the problem, isn't it? Because yeah, fishing used to have, used to be such a big thing, oh, it's the same in Yarmouth, 
and all that, and then it's all. Yeah, I suppose all the we can't be filming here. All that, that rolls off us ahead. I mean, that's where all the fishing comes. You'd be around. surprised yeah. what I can film from here. Well, without the wind, you're lucky you see. For yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I can film yeah. it and clear it up. The, the big boy problem was Boston deep sea fisheries. The great builder next to it was the Royal National Mission to Deep Sea Fishermen. Then you had a company called Talismans, Claridges, or uh, Columbia Shipment Company, and Smalls, and they controlled all the boats. Everybody was on a salary. But they owned all the boats in Lowestoft. Uh -huh. When you go down the museum, there's a DVD showing down there. It's about 20 minutes, and it's all filmed on those, which is well worth watching. Yeah. That's your main, this is your VHF, very high frequency radio, and that's your main transmitter. So basically, channel 16 is in red. That's when you call up another ship or port. But once you've got their attention, you drop a channel. But channel 16 is the channel you call anybody up on. Um, 2182 is the main distress signal. When you send a mayday out, every ship in the world will transmit over on 2182. And the call sign on here is Hotel uh, Golf Hotel X-Ray Bravo. Everything that starts with golf is British. So if you go on an aeroplane, look at the tailplane that's got golf on it. That's, you know been. it's a British aeroplane. I've never never been on a plane oh, either. Uh, I hadn't really been on a boat tour today unless you count a broads boat. Yeah. <laughs> I've been on the broad steam paddler one, oh, yeah. so... Yeah, my wife went to the Caribbean cruise. First time she's ever flown. First time she's been online this year. She took our niece as a nurse. Wow. Okay, I'll join you for part three. Every